with so many rules available in Curator, whether the ones that you have already installed or the ones are available in many of these packages on the App Exchange, what would be a good methodology for starting with the most threatening things, the things that are most important? Well, one way is to take a look at reports out there. I like the Mandiant uh, Trends, M Trends report. And if we go to uh, last year's, uh, this year has not been published yet, but if you go there and you go into the MITRE section, around, what, uh, a quarter into the, into the report, you find that they do a good job of telling you that from the MITRE perspective, the majority of the attack of the most uh, frequently seen techniques are these ones. So for example, we have this uh, T01 1027, right? So, how do I find rules in Curator for all these? Well, the, the use case manager can help you on that. So, let's say that you are here in the, this is my demo system, the use case manager, and I go here under MITRE section. And I'm going to search not by tactic, but by technique. And I can even apply that filter name, or I can put it under the, the actual name. And notice that there are several. Th this is the main that they are referring, but there are variations of it. And for all of them, you have to attack this. So for example, if we select this one, and we see how many rules do I have? Well, I have some. Now, and I'll talk about this triangle later. But uh, the question is are there more in the app exchange well the answer is very simple you just simply click here on this button and apply that filter and then if that number goes from 10 to any higher then you know that there is so there's nothing on the app exchange that i uh, do not have i have everything already installed now let's say that uh, let's say for another uh, tactic Let's try this one, file and directory discovery. Again, go back to my MITRE attack, display on the use case manager, say, well, how many rules do I have for that? Yep, that's the one, apply that filter, and you have nine, right? Well, again, let me see if there is anything else on the app exchange. Apply that filter. And 9 becomes 11, so there are two that I do not have uh, there. And in fact, you, you can, if you select this one, it will only show you those that, uh, that you don't have installed, these two. Now, uh, by default, the uh, use case manager does not put the package name in here. But you can easily change that by clicking on that gear, scrolling down, and say, well, show me in, in the column, put the column of the extension name and here you have it so you can go into these two packages on the app exchange let's actually go there iso 27 and gpg so let's go here and search iso 27 and see what package are there and here you have it and the other one was uh, gp gp G, G or C. let me see let me go back there GPG and you search there and here you have that that package so you can uh, download it also in using the asset management you can even bring this with a click but again this is not complicated too complicated for you to actually do now also in any rule that you it's not only to have the rule here and have it enabled, but also you need to make sure of two things. Well, first of all, if you have any one of these triangles, you go into whatever that rule is and especially go in here. Well, it's actually been telling you this reference set that these rules we work with are empty. They don't have anything, right? And it's really telling you. And and if there are custom event properties that are not enabled and this rule use it, boom, it will tell you there. So there are issues in there. So you need to make sure you don't have any issues. Uh, also, for any any rule, you need to also scroll down here and see if this is dependent on any particular logs or type. In this particular case, it is not. But if, for example, if we go under the Sysmon rules in here, let me 
click here to start a new if we look under the group of uh, window security event obviously these rules almost all of them except for the properties are normalized but most of them will indicate here you need to have windows locks unless if you don't have that then there's no need there's no point on having the actual rule uh, enabled and again check on every one of those uh, triangles to see what is the issue there so in following this uh, simple suggestion you are doing kind of a Pareto you, you are focusing on the things that the bad guys use the most and make sure that you start with those and then you advance uh, further okay and here you have even more selections on the sub techniques as we saw in their curator also supports the, the searching for the sub techniques uh, as well so I hope that this helps you answer that question or how do I focus my efforts in bringing more things into Curita and especially once you've done that make sure that you have uh, you know everything you you need for Windows and Linux uh, type of attacks and the MITRE uh, and the uh, Mandian report also has a section to that describes that.